Hey everybody, this is Jim at SP500Chart.com. It's a few minutes after 6 o'clock on January 22nd, 2014. Let me read this to you and then we'll get right to the chart. www.SP500Chart.com and this video are for educational purposes only. Nothing stated at the site or in the video is intended to be used as investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research and make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. I am not a licensed financial professional. I'm just a guy who draws lines on charts. Let's take a quick look. And when I say quick look, I, I really mean it because what, what can you say? Nothing has really changed. The, uh, the market uh, had a little bit of weakness today. But we had a higher low than we had yesterday, and I've, I've gotten rid of a couple of um, trend lines on this chart. I want to throw out an idea to you that possibly we may be uh, seeing a head and shoulders, an inverted head and shoulders pattern that's forming a little differently than what we've seen in the past. And the difference would be the, the fact that this pattern if confirmed, has an upsloping neckline. And I say if confirmed because none of these patterns that we talk about are anything until a breakout takes place. And we have been in a situation for the past couple of weeks where we've been waiting for a breakout. One way or the other, either break out to the upside or break down to the downside. And the S&P has just been in suspended animation for uh, more than, really more than three weeks. The only thing that we've seen of any significance in the way of movement was early last week when we had this uh, dip that took us down from about 1843 to 1815. And that's a pretty good sized chunk. You know, 43 to 15, what is that? Oh, I'm 28 points. But if you if you just kind of take that out of the picture, really, we have we have gone sideways so far for uh, three weeks. That said, we know that cannot keep going on forever and ever. So today I just, uh, I've, I've sort of abandoned some of the smaller trend lines, not because I don't think they were good, but mostly because I don't think they really matter. And if we can get rid of some of the little noise that's going on and, and take a little bit wider look at, at the markets, hopefully that'll give us a fresh perspective. We still have resistance at 1850. But you can see we also have a, 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 a line of uh, resistance that is increasingly getting a little bit higher. So let's extend this on out because if we were to, let's say in the next, uh, uh, well, let's say this week, if we were to get up to this line and then take it out, then I believe we could use our, uh, our inverted head and shoulders pattern uh, that may be forming right here to get our our minimum expected target. And if it is this neckline and we do break out over it and everything else points to this is the neckline we need to be looking out for, then uh, we could be looking uh, at a move that actually exceeds the pattern uh, that we were looking at yesterday, because I did say th I thought we'd have a target of about 1882, 1883 once we got over 1850. But if this is the pattern, then the point of the breakout would be over 1850, meaning we would have to add that onto it. So if we broke out over this line, let's say Monday of next week, then we would know we would have a uh, a, a target actually more like the low 1890s. So that gets a little bit more interesting. And uh, again, our moves are getting a little bit more compressed. So we're not seeing the big, huge payoffs that were the, the market was giving us, you know, three or four years ago or even two years ago. 
But that said, I think that is a large enough uh, move to make it uh, tradable. Now, so I, I want to keep an, keep an eye on two lines. Keep an eye on this 1850 because that has clearly been resistance. But the, at the same time, let's keep an eye on this line too. And of course, on the bearish uh, on on the uh, bearish side of the equation, we have rising support right here that is uh, going to be in the low 1820s and moving up over time to the point to where by the second week, or rather by the middle of the first week of uh, February, this rising support line will actually be intersecting our 1850 line. So something's got to give in the next, call it two weeks. So guys, that is, uh, I'm going to keep it short and sweet today. Uh, that is the video for January 22nd, 2014. This does not look bearish, to be honest with you. It looks sort of like a bullish setup, but it's got to be confirmed. So the first, uh, the first thing that I think that, that we would look for to be, have a confirmation would be taking out 1850. Then if we can additionally take out this purple line, that's when I think we, we would get to that uh, 1892, 1893 level. If on the other hand, we take out our uh, green line and cannot get over this, then I believe we may just kind of me kind of melt up a bit until we get to our, uh, to our the target that I was talking about earlier of about 1882. And you can see there is room for that to happen, but that, that would be a rather slow and uh, that, that would be a fairly slow and non-aggressive path to 1882 if we had to stay under this line. So guys, let's just see how, uh, how things pan out for the rest of this week. Appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch the video. And I especially appreciate your very, very kind support. Take care.